two pictures and fuse them together to get everyone in the group shot, stuff like that. On a Samsung device, that's a Galaxy AI. You know, they have things like that really impressive object removal. On a, a Windows 11 computer, that's gonna look like Copilot, you know, adding an AI editor into Microsoft Paint, stuff like that. Now, certainly not all of this has gone super smoothly. There's been plenty of weird rocky launches with companies like the recall feature from Windows, got some backlash and people didn't love. Lots of stuff has not been ideal. There have even been whole startups that were born and died just trying to jump on the AI bandwagon as best they can. But at this point, basically every big tech company has something that they do that they can point at and be like, all right, look, see, we, we do AI. You can see we're being useful to our customers so you investors can relax. We're on the forefront of it now. So then what does Apple do? Well, same idea, right? At WWDC 2024, they announced Apple Intelligence, which again, is you know, just a branding umbrella term for all the AI stuff they're gonna do across iPhones and iPads and Macs, things that involve using generative models and large language models. On the surface, it's kinda along the same lines. A couple silly features here and there, Genmoji, Image Playground to just generate random cartoonish images. But there have also been some useful things like writing tools and chat GPT integration, and then big promises of significant upgrades to make Siri actually good because it's been lagging behind and bad for years. So on the surface, you know, feels right in line with a lot of these other companies are doing. A lot of it kind of silly and easy to ignore, especially if you're not an investor, but some of it potentially really cool. I know I for one would like Siri to be decent. So I remember being there at WWDC in the summer when they announced Apple Intelligence and thinking, oh, okay, great. I would like to review this thing when it all finally comes out. So a couple months go by, September rolls around, the iPhone 16 launches, and it's built from the ground up for Apple Intelligence. And so it has iOS 18, but it doesn't have any Apple Intelligence features at launch at all. Like literally none of it. It's all still pending with software updates.